Where are you? Where's my kiss? Your bag's there. Do you not care about your mum? What about your bag, sir? Yeah, mom. you're gonna get it. Love you. I care more about her. Love ya. I care more. Love you both. Moon and back. Did you even let me have a hug? Oh, you want another hug? I can't even have a hug. So, what? With a kissy. On the lippy. Love that you. was hard. Love you. Love me, I need a hold on. Oh, mama. Ah, <sighs> oh, you want one, don't you? Yeah, bye. Bye. Love ya. Love you. Love you, mama. Love ya. Have a good day. Are you saying bye? <laughs> hey, oh, me prin, me prin, say bye. Good morning, guys. It's Friday, it is Friday, and it's a real Friday today. Uh, we're gonna have a catch up. I'm gonna sit down out here. I tried sitting on the front balcony, but bit noisy, bit sunny. Yeah, got an unboxing to do with you this morning and then we're going out. Gonna nip to Cannes. Cannes Film Festival, anyone? Um, yeah, do you know, when I first moved here, I thought, wow, Cannes Film Festival. I am gonna be so on the ball with that. I'm gonna be there with the camera, seeing it all. And um, yeah, I completely forgot about it went on insta since someone tagged there and i were like oh, it started so i've been completely rubbish we've had loads on we with the house and stuff so we've not done any research i don't really know what's happening but we're gonna go down there today and we're gonna just have a look see what we can see see what's happening uh see the red carpet and just feel the vibe so we've curled the hair today just in case we see any famous people you know um i've got an unboxing to do with you this morning got a gift guys don't happen very often this but um yeah do you know what half the emails that i get people wanting to send you stuff is like do you want to try my weight loss tea and coffee and you sell it and you get commission no thank you keep your weight loss tea and coffee but this is definitely not that thought i'd give this a try you know Teddy Blake, you heard of it? We're gonna unbox it. I've not even had a glimpse, promise you, because I wanted to do my honest review on camera. So let's have a look. Look, as you can see, all wrapped up tightly. I have no clue what they look like. I did pick, they let me um, choose two things off the website and I was very, very sensible. Instead of going initially, for what I wanted, which is obviously a pink bag. I thought, no Fern, you've already got pink bags. Go for a colour that you've not got and a style that you haven't got. So let's get these opened. Right, we've got a nice dust bag and, oh, this is a backpack because I've not got a backpack and I'm thinking city trips, uh, active trips, the trips where you don't want to be carrying a bag over your arm. So I wanted a nice backpack. It's olive. Oh, lovely. How stylish. Very nice. Oh, cute. Wow. Real leather. Mm, looks Genuine really well leather. made. How cute is that? Mini olive green backpack. Oh, sleek. Come closer, babe. Come closer. I think this leather needs to um lubed be lubed yeah it is like a bit stiff at the minute mm. oh there we go 
Yeah, it's just a bit stiff. Looks good. Yeah, can you smell it? Yeah. Look at that. Mm, Sleek. Beautiful. Quality. Quality. Beautiful. It's what we like, innit? Solid. Mm. Beautiful. I love that green as well. That'd be gorgeous for autumn. Right, that was pack number one, it's a winner. Thank you. Then we have got, I went for a relaxed, throw your things in kind of style in orange, because I've not got an orange one. Oh, oh, this looks lovely. Wow. Oh, wow. Look at that. That's my fave. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, does that go with today? Oh, it does. does it, it does. I'm bloody using it. I am. <gasps> Look, it's got nice. Oh, wow. No, that is lush. Yeah, definitely gets my approval. Real leather. It's all got like suede lining in there. Yeah, these are the nice kind of gifts, aren't they? It's a lovely bag. Oh, and it's got a... Cross the body strap as well. Lush. Happy Fernie box. Made my Friday, that has. Good. Thank you. Right, shall we get going to yes. Cannes Film Festival? I'll be using my new bag. Oh, look at that. Does it go? Yeah, it does. It looks great. Yeah, nice. Mm, beautiful. Woo! Look at it, guys. I'm actually dead impressed. I'm going to message them and see if they've got a discount code try and get a discount code off them and i will share it with you because lush really nice lovely little treat right then shall we have a little catch up on the way what's been happening this week uh rye's been away aren't you i went to amsterdam for a couple of days yeah have a look at these new jobs that we started i'm sorry i'm about to sneeze <laughs> <laughs> oh it's gone He's got that little allergy. He thinks he might have it. <laughs> oh, bless you. Oh, there you go. Have it. Thinks he might have a fever. I must have, because I woke up with it this morning. Oh, did you? He thought it were every time he went swimming, it usually happens, doesn't it? I do it, get that thing as well, but yeah. yeah. Um, Sensitive nose is the size, I think. So tell us about your travel, your experience. So I went to Amsterdam just for basically two days, one night. Um, to have a look at two projects and tell us about the airports and stuff like you didn't even need to yeah show in amsterdam you don't even need a mask or anything when you walk in you do in the airport you do but when you go in the shops um anywhere they don't wear a mask anymore it feels so normal and great it okay. just feels they're just laid back aren't they they're like ah it's okay yeah it's okay everything is fine are they yeah and then because we were flying from France, I took a COVID test before I went, obviously, because that's the rules, but I was never asked for it once. I wouldn't ask for it on the way there. You have to pay for them now as well. You, you, you didn't you used to have to pay for them in uh, France. Yeah. But they've... If you're a foreigner now in France, yeah, you have to pay 45 euros. Yeah, and we're actually still classed as a foreigner because our documents have not finalized yet. So anyway, and I also stayed in a very, well-priced hotel that had the most amazing breakfast buffet, dinner buffet. If Ryan says it's amazing food, it has got to be amazing food. It was, we're a little yeah. bit food snobby. We are, and you know? this was fresh, fresh food. This was not Iceland food. Oh, no, no. This was fresh. I wouldn't expect you to be saying it's amazing if it was anything like Iceland food, all right? No. You said Liz, that there were like so many different varieties. There of were different eggs. varieties. You know, like you normally when you get a continental breakfast that you pay a ridiculous amount of money for at a hotel. Well, at this one, you got choice. You could have, you know, a Dutch breakfast with Dutch pancakes and bacon and syrup and all that sort of stuff or you could choose lots of different fruits big chunky watermelons they even had six different types of like natural flavored yogurts but did they have because we have been to very few hotels that have this and you always go on honey. about it did they have the honey with the actual honeycomb in there no oh, oh they, they might have done but i didn't see it i didn't did go not? i didn't go to the bread section because 
Yeah. I didn't eat, instead of eating bread, I had Dutch pancakes with um, sausages and... Go on then, what's the place called? You've not even said what it was. It's called the Corrandon Village Hotel. And it's not in Amsterdam, it's on the outskirts of Amsterdam, near Schiphol Airport. And it's absolutely brilliant. Yeah. It's, it cost me 80 euros for one night and I got breakfast with that and the breakfast is a buffet. You can eat whatever you want, drink as much coffee as you want, anything. And I also went for tea there as well. And that's again, roughly 20 euros. You can drink as much beer as you want, as How much wine as you want. As much alcohol as you want for 20 euros. For God, 20 euros. And they'll be sending everyone there. Yeah, and the food's amazing again. They had a sushi bar, they had a fresh meat, fresh grilled meat counter. They had somebody doing like tapenyaki things, Japanese things, and then they had uh, pastas, all fresh salads. I think I want to go just for food. Yeah, that's it's worth it for the food. It is worth it, and it's so. Any cheap. food is fancy. Literally a food break. Get yourself there. <laughs> and if you're into your sport, it's got a good gym and a 26 meter pool. So it's amazing. It is really good. I, I every time I go to Sai, I will go to that hotel because for me, it's good food, value for money, and it's got the pool that I need to train in. Wow. There you go. Not an ad that. You, you know. don't often get reviews <laughs> like that from me, but I was impressed because it was cheap. There's nothing better than coming away from somewhere thinking I really did get what I paid for. There. I got well, more, more than I paid yeah. for. Yeah. Got more than I paid for there. Quality and cheap. You yeah. don't usually get the two, do you? And the rooms, the rooms were nice. I got a massive queen size bed. Wow. Yeah. Air conditioning worked. So you had a great time without me then. Well, not really a great time. I worked. I worked and trained. So that's what's been happening basically on our week. I have been on my own with the kiddies. And then uh, I was really on my own yesterday, actually, because they was in summer club. So I dropped them off there, half eight till 5 p.m., which I was looking forward to on Wednesday. And then it got to Thursday, dropped them off, and I honestly didn't know what to do with myself. <laughs> Felt lost. Like, you crave that bit of time to yourself, and then you're like, mm, don't like this, too quiet. Yeah, so it was just me and the dogs. And what did I do? Just the usual. Look. Editing? No, I didn't edit. I ironed and plumbing housey jobs you know oh housey jobs so we've not attempted parking right in the centre have we no stayed away from it and we've parked just outside so we've got a little bit of a walk Probably five 15 ten minutes, minutes. Oh. minutes. Depends. Ben is in wedges so yeah probably yeah. 15 minutes into the centre and yeah, life's looking rather lovely today, aren't you, fun? Ooh, not, as you not as lovely as you, Not as lovely as you, He was just having a conversation that he's going to get very sweaty feet because he's got no comfortable pop socks at the moment. What do yeah. you think to men in pop socks? Doesn't look nice, does it? But, yeah, but you right can't for... see them. No, you can't see them when they're in your shoes. But when you take shoes off, like, men in pop socks... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> this is why we parked just outside Can. We've got traffic. Beautiful building. Gosh, the traffic is bad. The first sign of the red carpet. It looks very worn, actually. You can tell we're late to this festival, like we've come on the dregs end. When does it finish, right? This Sunday finishes this weekend anyway. Yeah, it finishes tomorrow, I think.
go. We've got to do a detour to get some pop socks. We need some socks. What a noob. Mandel. <laughs> Just try some of these on. Come on, just get some crop. No, no, okay. They're all in fashion. You'll be comfy then, won't you? I'm not Come on, them. try them on. <laughs> try them on. Go on, you can wear out you. Look. You'll pull them off. <laughs> Two pairs of them bad boys. Oh, you're joking. <laughs> you don't want crocs then now? No. Now, hon, I'm a bit cheeky, wasn't it? <laughs> we had to laugh. They didn't have the um, pop socks in rice size. They had every size but rice size, and they only had like little ankle ones in white, which would have looked horrendous. But then you spied the um, freebies. Socks. The try on socks. The try on ones on the floor. So he pretended to be trying shoes on, and he's put two pairs of try on socks on. <laughs> Looks great. I think you should have got the crocs though, to be fair. No. Well, this is as good as we're getting. We see a red carpet and we see a camera. Yeah. yeah. And lots of people. Yeah. Y bueno, ya se está terminando todo, amigos. Ya están quitando la red carpet. Fueron muchas buenas historias, fueron muchas buenas películas, mucho trabajo, mucho estrés. Oh, they're putting new ones down. This is press where they stand. Oh, that's where the press stand. They almost have a row at the front, and then they all got the little steps. Looks yeah. really safe, <laughs> doesn't it? <laughs> Look at them at the back, with massive ladder. Imagine if one camera fell onto another camera. Yeah. <laughs> trying to get the shot. I'm trying to get the shot, and he just takes them all down. Everybody seems to be stopping here this is and the main taking way. pictures <laughs> and videos <laughs> over there. Well, I can't nothing, see nothing. nothing over there, but I'm just joining in just in case. Maybe something's about to happen. Well, all I've seen is them um, rolling a red carpet up. So, oh, I think they're about to roll a fresh one out. Look. Oh, interesting. That is what they're doing. So there must be a big night on tonight. Rolling. They're rolling a fresh red carpet out. Ah. Wowie. Waving. Got to wave back, haven't you? <laughs> Everyone loves the old... Yeah, there is some big fascination with this spot. Well, that's this is the main entrance, isn't it? Yeah. Where everyone comes in. Oh, yeah. this woman looks blooming fabulous. Love it. Love a bit of effort. Let's have a look at the programme. I've got a programme here. There is so many beautiful people about. It's all glammed it's up. Maybe it's because it's lunchtime. What do you mean? Yeah, maybe nothing's happening because it's lunchtime. Go on then, what, what info can you get? Because I've got I've nothing got to report on Cannes Film Festival. How's your blisters doing? Hey? Eh? You're more of a trainer's kind of guy, aren't Look you? At that. Ooh, no, right. Do you want to go and get them crocs, hon? Are you <laughs> I'd sure? Love crocs right now. Go and get your crocs. I Listen, you've got, you know, you don't have to impress anybody. We're, you know together forever. Go and get the Crocs. I can't wear Crocs on promenade, can I? Yeah, you will pull it off. You might get packed with your Crocs on. This is what's happening today for me. At 12, huh? it ends at 14.40. I don't really know what we're... So this is the Grand Theatre. Did you take your thumbnail off as well when you come off your bike? Yeah. Coming heck. Didn't even hurt me. <laughs> oh. Oh. Do you want to go and give him an hand, Rai? Playing that carpet. That's where it all began, isn't it? Carpet fitting. 
I think it's time to do what we always do when we don't really know what to do. And that's find a cafe and eat some food. We're a bit bored of watching this red carpet, you know? So, uh, Maybe we're here at long time. Yeah, definitely. Food sounds more exciting, doesn't it? I, I think this must be a night time thing. No, I don't think it's just night time. I think obviously there's time slots, like you say, that's all. Um, come on, let's come fill us face. I'll give you a, stop it. I'll give you a clue why the Nespresso Cafe won. Can you guess? This is a clue here. It's pink and green, obviously. It was a sign. So we are here, we've just got the menu. Let me just show you some of the decor in this beach club. All pink and green and cute. I think they'll notice if I take that rubber ring. I love that. All the flowers. How nice is that? Oh, we've got red. Which one are you going for? I like the look of that one. I'll go for whichever one you don't want. Oh. Well, would you have gone for that one? That one. Mm. No, I was thinking that one. Yeah? Yeah, cheesy one. Mm, go on then. Take the first one. Like now. Yeah. Cheese burger. It's been a long time since I've eaten a cheeseburger. Yeah. Looks <laughs> a very good one actually. Look at that. Fresh. Got some little vegetables here as well with sesame seeds. Lovely. Gotta squeeze this lemon. Beautiful. Bon appetit. Ah, bon appetit. You're not a fish person, are you, Bob? I'm not a fish person. Is it too fishy? Is it as fishy as mackerel? Fishy as mackerel. And is it fishier than mackerel? Sorry. No, it's white fish. Mm. Good. Are you trying some? Well, it gives a bit. Oh, an Irish coffee. We had to have an Irish coffee, didn't we? Um, do you know what though? Last time I had one, someone said it was actually Irish. You're not supposed to drink it with a straw and you're not supposed to stir it. The proper Irish way. Especially a pasta straw, I would imagine. So, do you think we should try it without the straw and mm. not stir it? Do what you're told. We try it the proper way, like the proper Irish, you know? Is it better? It's nice. <laughs> <laughs> ash, ash, proper ash. This is looking marvellous, isn't it, hon? We've got no brolly. No brolly for walking out there. No. Jeez. Fernie box is going to be wet through. It's getting worse, isn't it? 
that what? is pretty bad. I mean, yeah. It's bad. Right, serious now. We've got to sit up in 10 minutes. Seriously, we're stuck in the cafe. Torrential rain. Even it's starting to drip through the brolly now. And uh, we're stuck. We're like 15 minutes away from the car. No brolling. I'd say 20 minutes. Stop. 20 minutes of this. It's torrential so downpour. We're planning on just borrowing one of them. And we'll drop it back up tomorrow, eh? Yeah? If you take it and then just walk beach way out. Yeah. They won't yeah. even notice. Plan. <laughs> Did you walk in that puddle? <laughs> We've been rained off. Friday's over. <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> Fell over. <laughs> Just as I pressed button and all. <laughs> this is where he brings me on a Friday. <laughs> We love a sloshy wet Friday, don't we, hon? Like being back in oh. Yorkshire. <laughs> what a bloody washout, eh? As the saying goes, guys, it's not about waiting for the storm to pass. It's about learning how to dance in the rain. Remember that. Anyway, we're just waiting for the kids. And, um, yeah. That's the blooming Friday. Not much of Cannes Film Festival, eh? But we saw it. Maybe next year, eh? Hey up, ma'am. Hey up, gorgeous. There's someone who's English, yeah, and they've been here for a year. Just All like right. us. They're in Dubai for eight years. Dubai? Yeah. Wow, we... They've just moved here for a, uh, for a year. They've only moved here for a year? No, they've just moved here a year ago. Oh, a year ago. Older... They only speak a bit of French like me. Oh, wow. So, are you happy then? Mm -hmm. Hi, gorgeous. Hi, Mum. Hi. How are you? I'm good, mate. Did you have a nice day? Mm -hmm. They said we all call fancy. Fancy. <laughs> More like drowned rats. Ryan's desperate to get in comfy clothes. He's got oh, blisters yeah. on his feet. And uh, it's been a bit of a washout of a Friday. And now it's like so beaming sunshine. Seth with his phone. Can't believe it. What's Seth doing? Seth! Seth! Oh, she <laughs> always misses <laughs> us. Come here. Where are you going? Come on. Hello. Hi, you've been missing Wee Wee's. Great, Sylvia. Come on, Wee Wee's out. <laughs>